good morning ahead of Good Friday. It's going to be a very good Thursday because this means spring is finally here in Hartford. Once we start talking to Jeff Dooley, talking about baseball again, good to see you. Yeah, it's great to be with you, Tim, as always. Yeah, a pleasure. Well, let's talk about the team here. Uh, uh, 15 players on the Rockcats coming back, so they're used to Hartford, but it got a lot of newcomers. Of course, that's how it works in minor league baseball. Who can we look forward to that we might be seeing up in the major league? I think, Tim, right off the bat, Zach Veen, outfielder. We saw him at the end of last year, struggled at double. A, went to the Arizona Fall League and probably was the best player out there. Got a lot of hype heading into spring training. Actually led the Rockies in RBIs and stolen bases in camp out at the Cactus League. And a lot wow. of fa fans in Denver were saying, this guy needs to make the Major League team. Now, that was, I think, a little bit far-fetched. They said, all right, <laughs> pump the brakes. He's coming to Hartford yeah. to start. So sure enough, he's a yard goat. But get down and see he, Grant Levine, Drew Romo early because who knows, especially with Veen and Levine, those are two kids yeah. that may only be here for a month or two before they go up to the next level. Yeah, Veen's the number two prospect overall. Drew Romo, the catcher, a number four prospect too. Got a Connecticut connection here on the roster. Yeah, Nick Kuju, who's from Seymour, is just so excited. He said his phone keeps blowing up. Everyone's calling. He's got cousins now that he never knew he had that want to come to games for in, in Hartford. So he was in the league last year as a member of the Erie Seawolves, but didn't play the yard goats last year. So it didn't get a chance to come out. So he's just so thrilled that he's with the Rockies organization and yep. that was one of the reasons why he was excited is he gets to play in Hartford this year and some guys on the uh, the, the Rocky, Rockies uh, opening day 40 man yeah roster. absolutely warming burn Bell and uh, Julio Carreras who we saw a little bit last year two guys that are already on that 40 man major league roster so if they get hot early on in the season they have a chance to go up to the big leagues for sure good job by uh, Chris Norfia last year Speaking yeah of it, it's amazing you know four guys go to the major leagues Chris actually was just with Team Italy in the World Baseball Classic he was with Mike Piazza as one of the coaches out there he was at the Tokyo Dome just like two weeks ago today <laughs> so it's unbelievable and now he's at Duncan Park so we're we're thrilled to have him back he's a guy that played 10 years in the majors it's obviously the cool connection because he's from Southington as well right, so right. he can live at his own house he's got his wife and his kids and um, they enjoy yard goats baseball just like everyone else. It is good to see. And of course, it's about player development, but winning helps too. People like to see a good time. They like to see the Rockets win. They, you guys won more games last year than you've ever won. Yeah, 77 wins a year ago in Hartford. And it was a team that was in a pennant race. The league, as you know, is split into two halves now. Nearly won the first half. And then we're in the pennant race in the second One half. One game out. One yeah. game yeah. out. Just missed it at the end. But uh, it's very competitive. And it, as you mentioned, 15 returning players from last year's team. So. Hopefully the team gets off to a good start. There are some young players right now, so it might take a little bit. The team has only been together in spring training the last week or so. Yep. So we think that good things are on the horizon for sure for the GOATs. Uh, good to talk to you again and Absolutely. good to see you again. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Tim. Uh, glad to have you here. Of course.